Soviet. Published by Nintendo. The only reason Tetris had any life was because of Nintendo. Well, it was published by Nintendo on certain platforms and published by other people on others. But my point is the only reason any of us know the name Tetris right now is because of Nintendo. Nintendo decided yes. to, take a, uh, to take a gamble on an American idea, which was to take Tetris, a Russian game, and put it onto their platform. So yes. I don't think we can count that. Although the story of Tetris is fascinating. It is unbelievable. You should look that up if you ever... It's, it's very intriguing. I think Mist is a great answer. I'm going to go with Mist. I think Mist is a great answer. Ugh. I was going to go seventh guess, but I'm going to say Mist. Because Mist, again, completely changes... Everything. So you're saying you want to play that again for the next CDI no. marathon? No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> the, uh, but I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, and that's a, that's a great point. And this was going to be on my, th- but I already I already mentioned a shooter, so I can't put Halo on there. But Halo is one of my top five American developed games of all time. All right. Well, now that we're done with that, now that we've exhausted that topic, let's get to everybody's favorite part of the show. Yay! Which is the question and answer session. So. In case you haven't asked us any questions yet, you can ask us questions about this, the American gaming topic. You can ask us about Japanese gaming. Or you can ask us about life in general or anything else. Or Commodore's Bud Light hat. Or Super Commodore's cool. Bud Light hat and what else might open. I think you should totally give that away as a prize for our next gaming marathon. We should do that. Next thing you, sh- <laughs> you should do, though, is you should uh, send a private message to COTGW, which exists right there. So just send a private message there. Send your questions there. We will answer your questions. I can't tell you we will answer all of your questions. Um, we never get to all of them. There are a lot of people out there, so we're going to do what we got to do to answer as many as we can. All right. What do we got? My mom says, got? happy 4th of July, and she's looking forward to the yes. Live tonight. Yes, all right. So we got the family in the house. That is the way we like it. Hi, we Mom. We like it that way. All right. Next, actual <laughs> questions. <laughs> wow, that's a great one. Um, all right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh, perfect, because we were just alluding to that. Perfect. El Barto Me sent us a question which says, are you guys planning on a marathon this year? So the answer, even though we, we had a very hazy beginning to this question because we were like, eh, I don't know. A lot of planning goes into it. Can we definitively say now that we have a plan? Or that we are planning on I, having one? Do we still know where you're going to be in a month? No, we have no idea. Will you fly we, out? Th- that's not the question I asked. <laughs> the, question is, the question is, can we make it work? I don't know. So the, the fact is, <laughs> we are we are trying to plan this, even yes. the logistics of such a thing. The plan is yes. The plan is yes. Yes. Right. We're planning on having a marathon this year. We don't know what it's going to be yet. We have lots of ideas in the hopper. There's some ideas. Let me ask you guys. A <laughs> missed marathon. That's what we're going to do. <sighs> even though you can do a missed speed run in like a minute thirty. Ever. What would you guys think about CDI again? Yeah. So if you if you like that format, if you like that idea. Yes. Please let us know because that's something we're we're toying with the idea of making the CDI marathon even more cool. Um, but c- but we need to know CDI, the interest was there. The problem with CDI is there's a lot of interesting, funny games you cannot easily emulate, so a lot of people haven't played them. Right. But we have to go buy them. Is what that means. Selling that yes. idea to people and getting a lot of people to watch is difficult. I mean, it we is. did we did better than we expected last year. Yep. By actually meeting our goal, which we never, didn't expect. Yes. But you know. So, you know, if, if you think that's something you'd like to see, please give us that feedback. That's good. So I think, you know, it's fair to say, fair to say we'll be doing that. Play all the 16 bit gems. It's not a bad idea. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're thinking of a few different things. Yeah. Next. But yes, marathon. That would be good. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Beefy beefy. From, <laughs> from the Onion Knight. Yep. So Sony just purchased Gaikai. Yeah, that is news. We should have talked about that. Damn it. That's, that's well, what we're talking about. about it. That's what I was going to talk a about. A cloud gaming service the other day. Could cloud gaming be the future? Will physical games, i.e. You, non-digital, you, disappear from shelves 10 to 20 years from now? I'm kind of surprised we haven't talked about this yet in general. Yeah, we have. Topic. I've, talked, I've talked about this all the time. Have you ever watched The Weekly Ringer? The what? Anyway, the point is, um, yes. It, it, folks, there's no if in this equation. It's It's when. When are all of our games going to be hosted in the cloud and all we do is enjoy them from our convenient playing and viewing devices? The question is when, it's not if. Uh, sadly, if you go long enough, probably that's going to be the case. It's not even if you go long enough. I would say it's, I would say it's almost guaranteed within you know, that five-year span. You know what the one thing that might halt that or, even, or just slow it down will be? If ISPs start capping service, yeah, and, I, and which I, seems to be coming, which seems to be a trend, but at the same time, I I don't know how that will affect 
the overall because the caps JSC generally move fives. because caps generally move with the size of pipes, right? So uh, the idea that they're going to have, and trust me, the, the pipes will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Look, this, and the internet is not a truck. You don't back of the truck up and dump them. Um, it's also another yeah series of tubes. Yeah. So, um, so the point is that <laughs> I think it's 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 going to happen. And one of the reasons, so your the European courts, by the way, this is another big piece of news decided, I believe, yesterday. That selling used games was completely within the scope of the law. Okay. Was not illegal. Okay. And therefore, having games that are produced on a disc is is not as taboo, or is is going to be less and less profitable for a game developer. That is going to push people toward. I think it's a possible cloud based gaming as much as possible. I think it's a possibility, but I think. It's up in the air, especially because of the ISPs. I just, <clears throat> I, I just don't think that's I think America. That's, yeah. All right. Next, have, have we you have ever heard of you know the entire America. Moore's law. I mean Moore's law. Anyway, go ahead. Russian star saint. That doesn't work for tube width. Yes, it will. Uh, Russian star saint asks. Recently, been playing through Dragon's Dogma. Love it. BTW. Yep. Lol. Yep. Smiley, winky face. Okay. Uh, not really all that stuff. Yep. But it is a, a feeling of trying to be appealing to WRPG fans, but the game is being gobbled up in Japan and only a moderate at only moderately here. Yes. Do you think they are missing the mark when it comes to trying to appeal to the West? This is a great question. Um, so having played the little Dragon's Dogma and having a buddy that plays it nonstop and tells me about it and shows me the videos, mm -hmm. this is a game that I think shows a lot of what's missing between Japanese developers and American developers. Dragon's Dogma has aspirations that are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean fantastic. Like... The best kind of aspiration I've seen since, I don't know, Shadow of the Colossus, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome stuff. But the polish on it and the execution mm. do not live up to the aspiration, in my opinion. Now, Japanese gamers, I don't think they are as meticulous about that as American gamers are. We like the polish, we like the finished experience, and we like that to be very much ironed out. And we like the problems to kind of be worked through on it. Remember, some of the games that are popular in Japan get popular because they have problems with it. They're broken. They're, they have, you know, broken. niche, nuance parts of them that, you know, American gamers would find nauseating, but they find fun, right? So I just think that, I think Dragon's Dogma is an excellent example of what's wrong or why they can't sell games in America. All right. Also, why would you be doing You speed these up. Okay, go ahead. Next. All right. Next. Uh, from the Beer Ninja. Yeah, okay. From the Beer Ninja. Man, people with long involved questions. Yep. I'm curious what you two gentlemen... Sorry, that was funny. Mm. Think about the European court ruling that digital download games are able to be sold used by... Sold used by transferring the license. Boom. Used digital download games can be sold by transferring the license. Yes. So... Again, 30 seconds go. Again, I say I mean, exactly the same thing. I just talked yeah, about it. I said the exact same thing. I think that's that's why... Cloud okay. computing is coming. More specifically, mm -hmm. how do you see the companies reacting if a ruling, ruling like this comes to America? Can they come up with a creative solution or just cry loudly through legal red tape? No, it's very simple, folks. They, they've already implemented these kinds of systems. When you do, when you lose a disk-based game, you lose 90% of the piracy. It's it's going to be so much easier to bring games on online, and that's what's going to happen. And I don't think they're going to have to find creative ways around it. Every every time I see Commander Beta in the chat, I think it says Commodore. I'm like, yeah, me too. I did the same I, thing. I, I, um, yep. So now someone needs the name Commodore. Ding ding. One twenty eight on yep. on Twitch just to mess with us. Anyway, yep. nice. LED Naruto is it LED or LED. I always say LED when he comments on the weekly. LEDs. Yep. Uh, LED Naruto says or asks. Recently, it's been stated that Mashiro Sakurai will be working with Namco Bandai mm -hmm. to make the new Smash Brothers games for the Wii U and the 3DS. What are your thoughts? The more the merrier, because if they didn't, it would probably take five years for the game to come out. Yeah, like it does with all the because other. Because Sakurai works slow as balls. Yeah. But, again, that's that goes against the Japanese model, right? Where this is Every Smash Brothers has been definitively better than the one before it in certain ways. Masahiro. Innovated. Sorry. With the formula, right? I think I said that wrong. Even so. it wasn't better, because I know most of you... We had this question on the Weekly Ringer a couple weeks ago, which was the best Smash Brothers ever. And people that play tournaments prefer the GameCube version. Anyway, go ahead. Well, yeah, it's just a tighter game. Yeah, it's just, yeah. it's just tight. It's so just I'm looking forward to it. It's a toy gun. Looking forward to it. Yep. Nice. I also heard... This isn't part of the question, but I also heard that Sakurai said, um, don't expect the uh, size of the character list to expand. What do you think I, about that? I think it's great. Because I think as long as they cut the chaff, yeah, I mean, put in, come on. and Mega Man must be in it. 
That's all I got to say. I, I fully expect Ness not to be in it. I in think other words, be culled, but Mega Man has to be in it. It won't be Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper XD fighting in the streets winning at games edition. Oh, uh, and, and while we weren't looking, um, it's lead Naruto. Oh. That's not spelled right. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have guessed that. Anyway. Next. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> when are we going to post the video from our last marathon? That I thought was it was up there. Stone. Nope, yeah. I'm just slow at doing that. I thought, oh, you posted the highlights. Wah, wah. No, I didn't even do that. Oh, man. I'm on that. I got to get on that. Failure. Wah, wah. That's the answer. That's the answer for you. Uh, da, da, da. Ooh, that's ha- a good one. Halmzy has asked, what's your favorite adventure game? Seventh Guest. Is that an adventure game? It's more of a puzzle game. It's a Seventh Guest is an adventure game in the classical sense. Me. In fact, it might be the de facto standard for adventure games. He's not now. He's not talking action adventure games. He's talking no, adventure I'm games. I'm thinking adventure games. I really like Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion is awesome. I don't know if that's my favorite. It's hard as balls though. But there's so much confusing, especially for the time. It's pretty amazing. I don't play a lot of adventure games, so I'll just go with Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion is a good, good answer. All Solid. right. I would say a, a second place goes to Full Throttle by Lucas. I was just thinking of that too, yeah. but yeah. Uh, the Phantasmagoria games. I no. Nope. All right. Uh, whatever happened? Okay. Uh, Tell Fantos has asked, "Whatever happened to the painful memories in gaming I series?" I think we've answered this one on a, on a podcast before too. We just got away from it. I mean, it just yeah. it just wasn't our shtick. It takes a lot of time to film. We're not we're not it film was stars. Fun, but it was fun. It was one of our original ideas for the site. It's really hard to write, produce, and act in all those series, and it and takes do it a lot more time. Like douchebags. Yeah, because we weren't very. And for any of you that watch any of these videos, <laughs> we're not very good at making them. Furthermore, what is a man? <laughs> <laughs> um, so even even when we had a good concept, we didn't really write it very well. So um, yeah. Anyway, enjoy those as as the you know Clan of the Gray Wolf learns how to make freaking videos. <laughs> <laughs> so. Probably not. Probably not going to happen again. But, uh, we, although we do have ideas. We have ideas for those games. We just don't think we're ever going to make them. Any plans for the Commodore to take part in the video game years? In the video game years. I mean, I would love to do that. I haven't been invited. Maybe we'll have to invite you. <laughs> if I, if, were I to be invited, yes. Next. Especially if you come out to Classic Gaming Expo. Yep, I can do that. Which sounds like you are. So, yep. there you I, go. I do that. We can do, because we can do get that. you and... Uh, Man, I'm giving away little state secrets here. We can have state you, secrets. We can have you and Nolan Bushnell. Uh, oh, duke stuff it out! Or, yeah, just fight, fight, fight in a Chuck E. Cheese in a ball pit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, classic gaming expo is in Las Vegas in August. Uh, Algebraic eighty nine asks, "What do you think will happen when Miyamoto retires?" When Miyamoto retires, first of all, he's tried to retire several times. That should be noted. Okay. Nintendo won't let him retire. He will die. <laughs> he will die. So you're asking what happens when he dies? Yeah. Because Nintendo won't let him retire. Nintendo, one way or another. They will not let him retire. What will um, happen? They will probably try to clone him before then so that they don't lose all their money. Um, name a good decision that Nintendo has made that didn't involve Miyamoto in the last 25 years. Uh, I, I already have it. It's Pokemon. Yeah, there you go. But other than that, Donkey Kong Country. No, that's, <laughs> I, I guarantee you, Miyamoto was involved in that decision. I guarantee it. I think there's enough to keep Nintendo going, but it'll be a sad day. Oh, that's all. I'll say. It's going to be awfully hard for them to continue to make money because all of their good ideas come from Miyamoto. Just my opinion. Reggie does not have those kinds of ideas. Reggie is a is a businessman. He's not a video game guy. Next, Paul Madibka. Madibka. Okay. Uh, this is interesting. Madibka. Uh, hello, I would like to know if you play if you played and play American and non-American games with your Game Boy in the in bathroom. the bathroom. I always play in, with my Game Boy in the bathroom. <sighs> That's my answer. I actually play crappy casual games in the bathroom. Crappy. Boom. End it there. Uh, ADD at work. Mark Carr asks, "Got any more of the way games work in the future?" Yes. When I get time. I, th- I have a feeling if I put out one more video without it being 16-bit gems, there will be a lynch mob coming. Yeah. The other so thing that's is, what I'm working on next. The way games work has always been, as we've always thought about it, <clears throat> 
technological.